We fund results based uh, projects, Absolutely. not organizations, Absolutely. and projects are delivered without religious content, Mr. Speaker, including this particular project. It's shocking uh, to hear Minister Fantino defending the indefensible, standing up today and defending a group that on its website is attacking something that's recognized and protected by Canadian law. So it goes against Canadian values, it goes against Canadian law, and he can't defend that. We don't understand how the Conservatives can, out of one side of their mouth, correctly condemn Uganda's laws on this issue, and then on the other hand, subsidize a group in Uganda whose views are identical to those of the Ugandan government. So it's not a question of saying, oh, we shouldn't subsidize groups that have a religious base. There are lots of groups over the years that have had religious base. But what's interesting to watch with the Conservatives is groups like Kairos, like Development and Peace, that do have you know, a lot of people with, of a religious background involved with them, and that, those are the values that motivate them. They're getting cut. While at the same time, these types of evangelical groups with, with vision that goes completely against not only Canadian values, but Canadian law, are getting Canadian taxpayers' money. Thank you.